This is Bob. Bob runs his own small business. Up until this point, Bob's life has been simple because all he has to purchase for his business were little things like paper, ink, and other small supplies. Supplies, used up in less than one year, are simply recorded as an expense when they are purchased. But now Bob wants to buy something bigger. Let's imagine Bob wants to buy something like a piece of manufacturing equipment. This new equipment will cost Bob thousands of dollars, and he hopes that it will last him for several years, let's say seven. Any assets that the business hopes to continue to use for more than one year are considered long-term assets. Sometimes businesses call these long-term assets fixed assets, or property, plant, and equipment, which is often abbreviated as PP and E. Bob has a question about his new fixed asset. Should he just record the entire asset as an expense this month? That would make his net income look very low. Would that be right? To answer this question, we need to look at gap rules. GAP, or the Generally Accepted Accounting Principles, are the rules that govern how business owners like Bob track and report their accounting information. One of the GAP rules is known as the Matching Principle. The Matching Principle states that expenses should be recorded in the same months and years as the revenue received from them. For example, Bob uses his small supplies to generate revenues right then, so he can record the expenses that month. With the equipment, though, Bob plans to use the equipment to create product sales for the next seven years. So, according to the matching principle, he would need to spread the expense of the machine over those seven years so that the expenses for each year match the revenues being earned by the machine that year. When the cost of a fixed asset is divided up over its useful life, we call that depreciation. Depreciation not only complies with the matching principle under GAAP, and also reflects the reality that Bob's equipment will slowly lose value as it is used. Other fixed assets that use depreciation include things like vehicles, office furniture, and computers. It is interesting to note that although buildings are depreciated, land never is, because historically, land doesn't lose value over the long term. To learn more about depreciation and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.